Welcome to Navarra in Spain for the third round of the 2012 FIA GT1 World Championship. Hayley, we've got much better weather this weekend and, and so we're going to see a different kind of tyre strategy evolving, I think. Absolutely. Obviously, it's the, the wet weather. It's whether they're going to go out in slicks or wets in Zolder. It's so exciting. It's made for a fantastic race. Whereas here, it's going to be the heat of the track. So it's the degradation of the tyres that we've got to watch out for. So strategy, tyre strategy is definitely going to come into it again this weekend. And also, a lot of the teams here we know have had some testing leading up to this weekend here and in other tracks so we'll see whether that's going to go to their advantage or not. Absolutely and the, and, the, and the dry weather conditions are really going to be interesting John because up until now Zolder and Nagaro have been a bit of a lottery with who gets the tyre decisions right in the pit lane. This weekend we might kind of see a more stable running order and really find out who's quick. <coughs> well let's hope we're going to have a, a dry race, a dry weekend but two things are going to be topical I would imagine. One will be BOP which is balance of performance and we know from the first two rounds there are teams just saying we are being hard done by and we saw that BMW got some relief in Zolder. The other thing I think will be, it could be an issue, not will be, could be an issue, is braking because this is a tough circuit and there's parts of the circuit where the cars get up to a reasonably good top speed. A lot of places on the circuit where you're hard on the brakes so keep an eye on people having issues with brakes, particularly brake cooling and maybe some brake fade so Dry race, hopefully, but will that lead to people having problems with brakes? The braking is an interesting thing, actually, because there were concerns in Zolder about the brakes, but because of the wet conditions, it meant they were putting less pressure on them. So as a result, those, those issues never really materialised. Well, it's a fantastic weekend already. Hopefully the weather is going to stay this good, and you can catch all the action, the qualifying, qualifying race, and championship race, all on the GT1 World website.